Nobody cared who I was until I booted up Stellaris. Hello, my gravity timmies, and welcome to Stellaris. That's right, after many years, many requests, we have finally returned. Still get emails every day asking me when the Stellaris part of the mega campaigns will finally be added, to which I can say... <laughs> But before we get into the fun of the new Stellaris DLC, I do need to clarify that this video is sponsored by Paradox Interactive themselves. That's right, Stellaris has gone ahead and released their brand new Overlord DLC, which you can go ahead and get by clicking my link down below. It adds a whole branch of new things to do in the game, uh, which considering it's called Overlord, I think you can already understand that most of the features relate to managing your subjects or being a subject and managing to ruin everything everything that's what we're gonna do today so yeah if you want to go ahead and get yourself the new dlc or stellaris go ahead and click the link down below in the description and the pinned comment and i know you guys have been begging me to come back to stellaris so i have the opportunity to try this dlc out early and it's time for my great return to the stars! That's right, if you think I can do terrible things to a map, uh, then you should see what I can do to a universe. Alright, we are actually spoiled for choice in who we want to play today. It's Birdman! Oh, uh, my bad. Birdwoman. Oh! Average Heart of Iron 4 player. You know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, make my own, I think. Alright, who do we want to pick here? Uh, I think we must go with the Goblin people. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's a perfect name for what this man looks like. Please play artillery only free. Alright, I kind of don't want to ruin myself here, but at the same time, I feel like if we are going to make the uh, Gravy Timmies, some traits just need to be added. Alright, I'm no Stellaris expert, but I do know that these are the new origins here, I believe. And I think we're going to go with Imperial Fiefdom, where as soon as we got off the planet, someone much bigger subjugated us and... Uh, it's not very nice. Look at him. He's he's not happy at all. He wants to rule the galaxy, and how can he do that when we've been subjugated? Yeah, you could uh, you could pick some pretty crazy stuff in Stellaris. I do remember these things. Hey, uh, that's exactly what we needed right there. Reanimation. You know, always got to bring back the dead memes, eh? Yep, never truly free from the uh, Byzantine LARPers, even in space. Hey, uh, I think that sums up our uh, nation, or I should say planet planet more than anything. We're just looking for love. Colin is lonely. Yeah, you know, I was gonna go ahead and uh, just change this, but I, I'm actually kind of liking Colin Sloan. Colin, you are the man to lead us across this revolution. Maybe we can go ahead and give you some hair at least and uh... Okay, may maybe we shouldn't give you any hair. <laughs> Alright, I got no idea what any of this really means, but I think realistically, uh, I'm probably going to die pretty quickly anyway. You know what? I ain't gonna press any buttons here. We're just gonna go in and we'll figure out what's what. Hey guys, just heard of this thing called space travel. Anybody want to be my friend? Uh-oh, this isn't the type of friendship that I wanted. Okay, seems to me they've added quite a few buttons since the last time I played. All right, here's our beautiful, holy pan Panzalian, Panax Panaxalan Empire Overlord. Doesn't... Them look good. What is that? Why does it look like a moving piece of potpourri? I would love to be independent. I guess it was worth a shot. Right, I guess first things first, we'll send it good old Alberto over there to do a bit of spying for us. Of course, how they won't notice the little goblin man when they look like this. Not too sure. Right, I don't want to alarm you, overlords, but I think you need to turn your son off and on again. It appears to be, uh... Pulsating. Hey, look at that. We've got a little heart icon even on the map. Nice. All right, well, I guess this is Earth. Um, it's looking beautiful, and there's only one man living on it. Ah, just kidding. There's actually 28 people living on it. <laughs> there's, there's 28 gravy timmies. Oh, my holy dried out flower overlord is immediately talking to me. And for now, we're going to go ahead and just say we are proud to be part of your alliance. Please don't eat me! Oh, look, I think they just gave me the power of... 
boat ship. Uh-oh. Uh, the bird people who are slaving despots. Uh-oh. Want to settle an embassy. Uh, okay. Just... What do you have planned for the gravy timmies? Oh, and this guy is a fanatic and militarist and wants to do a trade network? I, I don't think I have the best neighbors. All right, we got the sloth people too, and they are fanatic spiritualists. That's right, we've got sloth Jedi out here. Hey, hey. Ain't those the things from Men in Black? Hold on. Uh, wait, they are friendly though, and they just want to make some dollar dollar. I can get behind that one. I uh, don't worry though, I'm sending Elon Musk out to go ahead and start mining Mars. We also got our little side ship exploring over here in our next little system and having some fun. Look at it, it's just... Scanning away! Oh, we've already found a planet where we can colonize. It'll be called Earth 2. Fortnite. Oh, I just realized we are mining the sun. Not really sure how that works. Um, do we just have a bunch of columns over here just staring into the void? Anything for science, sir? You know, Paradox, I may actually bill you for the therapy at some point from seeing this event. All right, I guess we should go ahead and get a colony ship. And it, why is it called the Australia class? Uh, the colonists also... Uh, Prisoners. Oh, yeah, I kind of accepted pretty much every agreement, too. So, uh, we have a, a lot of different people who we could put on this boat. Uh, I, I guess for now, we'll just not put the potpourri monsters in there, or the men in black aliens. We'll just go with the gravy timmies. <laughs> Why so serious? Free. All right, boys, have fun. Hopefully there's no giant monsters on here that are going to eat you. We'll call it... Minecraft 2. Oh, uh, apparently it's got high gravity. Uh, I guess that means we're gonna be even smaller when we finally go at unstable tectonic. We it's Japan! Yeah, considering we're little goblin people, uh, I get the feeling we're, uh, we're not gonna be doing too well on the, uh, extra gravity planet might actually become even shorter. Uh, we'll see though, uh, the earthquakes might keep us up all night, but you never know, we might get some work done in between all the rebuilding of the buildings that have fallen over. There it is. Minecraft 2. All right, considering I'm completely winging this so far, I think we're doing all right. Not as good as the Prince Electorate of the Netraxi though. They seem to be doing a bit better. Uh-oh. Is that good? Where's my overlord? Protect me! All right, we also gotta go ahead and uh, get Alpha Centauri, and uh, I can think of no better name than... Perfect. I'm sure this won't get confusing. Uh oh, uh, okay, we got ourselves a election, and Colin, although he has gone ahead and already grown up. Well, it's not an empire or a kingdom. We're just under the 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 flower demons. But he has developed Minecraft 2 and Minecraft 2 2, which means he is the most supported. Although Ernesto over here is coming in close. Although, uh, with a cheeky bit of, uh, you know, <laughs> interference, you know. Definitely a democratic way of doing it. Uh, we'll get the right man in charge. Uh, although he is also realistically probably not the right guy. Oh my, what a totally non-rigged election. Well done, Colin, for winning the uh, presidentship of stupid planet. Well... I feel like we probably could have seen this one coming on Minecraft too. Oh, excellent. Uh, nothing was actually damaged, probably because we also haven't actually built anything there. Uh, also, probably because Minecraft 2 doesn't actually exist, and it is simply all in our head. Uh, oh god, a new faction has recently been gaining traction in the internal political landscape of the United Nations of Earth, led by President Colin. They call themselves the Alien Aid Center. Colin! Uh oh, watch out, Colin. It's the jellyfish people. All right, I'm pretty sure I've beaten up your friends in a game called Elden Ring before. So for now, I guess we're just going to go ahead and say go away. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> that's just kelp, isn't it? All right, I don't want to be friends with the kelp people either. Oh my god. Soy face Marvel! Should I be worried that there is another empire directly on my empire's border? I mean, <laughs> you're gonna do something about this, right, potpourri monsters? Okay, 
I think it's safe to say we might be a little bit sandwiched in here. Alright, so a while ago I sent one of my scientists, our top man Kareem, on an excavation. And he's bringing back... Artifacts! They belong in a museum. <laughs> Where's the museum, you may ask? I'm still looking for it myself. Oh, well, the Prince Electra has declared war on the Saiban Politi. Oh, uh, what does that mean? I'm not too sure, but you guys are looking pretty big. And our overlord, not so big. Yeah, not too sure what's actually going on down here, though. Would love to see and get involved. Uh, this is absolutely stupid, but we got to spice this up somehow. So I'm declaring war on the jellyfish people. How will it go? Probably terribly. Oh, there you go, look, I'm I'm blowing stuff up. Oh wow, shucks, would you look at that? It's a thing. Like a big shiny broken thing. Oh, the excavations carried out by archaeologists on Alpha Centauri 5 have somehow activated several ancient sentinel robots. Great! Oh, it's actual Star Wars time. Can't really tell what's going on, honestly. Uh, but we may be winning, or we may be losing. Oh, I think we actually just won. I am a Stellaris professional. All right, be warned. Look away if you have any sensory issues when it comes to light for the next five seconds. Oh, unfortunately, I had no idea how to actually fight a war, and the jellyfish people have gone ahead and just shared... Okay, let's just go home. I count that as an absolute victory because I just clearly bored them to death. Yeah, I'm really surprised that my overlord is still my overlord considering, um... <laughs> how? <laughs> uh, I think there's a much bigger fish around. Uh-oh. Uh, well, apparently Minecraft 2 is a little bit upsetty spaghetti. Uh, pretty cool thing is, if you've played CK3, you already know this, you can go ahead and actually uh, negotiate what your contract is with your overlord. Although for us, uh, they won't pretty much accept anything because we are the bulwark. Which yeah, is pretty simple if we wanted to just uh, go ahead and give them something in return for maybe like having more resources, we could do that. But uh, for now, I guess we'll just stay on bulwark because I want to go back to war. I spectacularly failed once, I'm ready to do it again. Never mind, the empire collapsed. Well, I guess everyone's going for a free-for-all here, which means I can now go ahead and subjugate one of the people next to me if I had enough little power, but I don't. So I will declare war on them. Oh, uh, never mind. I can't go to war with them because they've immediately been snatched up by uh, clearly the bigger fish around. Don't mind me. Just bombing Zudra 1. Oh, someone's created the galactic community where we get to vote on fun stuff like the birth of the galactic market. I support it. Go ahead, Alberto. Tell them how much I love their idea. Anyway, back to blowing up this planet. And there you go. We've landed and taken over. Wow, that's so fun. Uh, how do I piece you guys out now? Well, there you go. I guess that's all it took for me to expand was just to wait for my emperor to die. Although I guess in his place a much more competent empire has risen. Yeah, not so much a prince elector at this point though. You kind of just own this corner of the uh, <laughs> the system. Oh, you know what? I, we're going to call it there for today. I did a little bit of conquering. A uh, lot of nothing really. I'm not the most competent Stellaris player, but considering I have not actually played Stellaris in a very long time, I think I did okay. I could have done a lot worse. And there you go. Just to the end, I subjugated a couple more people diplomatically. Welcome to my empire. Uh, hey, yeah, there we go. The gravy timmies are free now in the world. I'm assuming to be eaten by a much bigger power, more than likely. But yes, if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more Stellaris, please, for the love of Jesus, give me more tips down below on what to do and what not to do, because I have no idea. And most importantly, I want to say thank you to Paradox for sponsoring the video. If you want to go ahead and get yourself the Overlord DLC and get yourself started with Stellaris, click the link down below. Uh, I have a lot of fun. I'm sure you guys will have a lot more fun as you'll probably know more than I do. And yes, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, hit the subscribe button down below, and uh, I'll catch you all on the flippity flip.